Hey, what's up everyone? ZHP2004 here, and tonight I'm bringing you uh, some A-Class racing from uh, two nights this week that I did. So we're going to start things off here at VIR, and uh, I thought this was kind of interesting because it's a little different from your typical VIR start. We all come down into the first corner, and we all make it. Uh, nobody really gets shoved too bad. Uh, at least ten of us got through. So that's always a good start to, uh, to things. Uh, people being respectful, giving each other a little bit of breathing room. We've got a little bit of pushing going on up through here. I go in, try to get the undercut, and I wind up bumping the guy. Let him go, and we'll just continue on up through the S's here. And we got someone off on the left. The guy in front of me, he goes off on the left. So not much more happens during this race. I finish somewhere third fourth so we're going to cut to the next race here which was a Catalonia and Catalonia it was a fun race uh, again a class cars a decently full lobby and we got people and they're wrecking we just barely got past the start finish line and they are wrecking all over and we are uh, up in the tenth so we're going to come down here first corner and so far we haven't had any rammers. Um, just a lot of chaos as we go four wide. People just trying to scramble, get back on the track. I was not very good on these uh, corners up through here all night. I, I struggled on this course with this car. Uh, again, you know, another Corvette. Uh, this tune... Uh, this is my tune. I had to remember if I had loaded someone's tune on here or not. So we got that uh, orange indicator here. That black car there, he'll be around pretty much all race. We'll see him here and there. Uh, we're probably going to jump around here a little bit, but the uh, the A-Class racing, I like A-Class. Uh, I do a lot of the A-Class racing. I do a lot of the D-Class racing. Uh, don't ask me why I jump between those two classes. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things. So we're going to go through. We're going to pretty much finish up this lap. We're running around in, what are we at here, 5th, 6th, please, yeah, I bumped the tires. So, we're going to just go through, we're going to jump ahead a couple laps to uh, here, and there's that car in front of us, and yeah, he just completely cuts that left, right, I managed to get around him. Uh, it's not going to be the last time he cuts that, I don't think it was the first time he cut it, but we got around, so it's okay, and his indicator just went way off the screen so we're just going to keep running our laps here do as best we can we follow this guy good portion of the race so but we're going to jump to uh yeah the last lap here and i absolutely botched that corner i couldn't get that right all night to save my life and uh look who it is so we're going to follow up behind this guy now for you know the last three quarters of the lap and try to keep it on the track. I'm not even sure if I had a clean lap in this race, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, but you know how the hoppers are. You know, it's... You got a few laps, everybody's scrambling for the front. I completely lock it up trying to not hit that guy. Um, Porsche goes into the wall. He hits the Porsche. I hit him. Someone else gets around me. But uh, we're not done yet. Now, we're gonna get through these corners here, and we're gonna get back down to the chicane and uh, that's probably where our last little bit of action is likely to happen, knowing this track. And sure enough, there we go. And we are going to wind up finishing up in fourth place on this race. Uh, it, again, it was a fun race. Not my favorite track. It's not a bad track. Uh, and it works. So we're going to go to Laguna Seca just for a real short clip we're going to show about half a lap here and not going to take long to see why and well there you go it's just uh, it turned into a parking lot it looked like a what they call a you pull it where you go there and you pull parts off cars like a self-service junkyard if you will but we finally get going here and we are way down uh, 17 out of 18 drivers and uh, it really didn't get much better after that uh, I just kind of muddled around in the back here 
trying to eventually get clear of everybody. I should have just parked it and waited. And uh, just to try to go for a clean lap. Uh, if you can get a decent clean lap, well, I don't know what to say about that. But we're going to keep going here. But if you get a clean lap and it's a decent lap, that's going to move you up for the next race. And uh, pretty sure a lot of people know that by now. But we're going to move to Prague. Now, Prague was a really fun race. i got to tell you this. Uh, you see that Corvette there, uh, driven by racer Holden. Holden and I, we battled a few races all night. Very close. And we had an absolute blast. Never met him before. Um, but we had... Well... Forgot. We got the love tunnel. And, well, yeah... There's ghosting, not ghosting, more ghosting, more non-ghosting. Uh, I, I kind of wish, you know, we'd figure out when we are and are not supposed to be ghosted. Uh, please, Forza. But we finally get going. We're back here in 7th. We're going to be coming up over the bridge. Not exactly the best place to try to pass. Uh, it can be done if the guy or girl gives you enough room. Uh, we're going to come down through here into the wonderful chicane that always claims somebody. And Well, there we go. We got one, two, three. We had somebody up in the air there. So we're going to go through. And we got an indicator right behind us. And they're going to come up and lo and behold, it is holding. And uh, you know, we give each other probably just enough room. Um, there is some rubbing. There is some bumping. But... Uh, there's nothing malicious that, that happens. Uh, I, I get very impressed over how he takes that bump on the right-hand side on that quick right lefter before the tunnel. And, uh, I don't know if I would try that. I know a lot of guys, I've seen a lot of guys try doing that and it works for them. I don't think my car is quite set up to handle that. But like I was saying about the bridge not making a pass, I'm actually going to attempt it. I am going to get through. Get it woed up. Barely. I do hit that wall many times this race. I could not get that line right that race night to save my life. Uh, but I got through. And again, Holden, he's still right there, right behind me. And we're just going to keep running up here. And uh, again, this is where we're going to be coming up to that right left before the tunnel. And he just goes for it. I don't have much more to say other than that, but you know, way to go him for making that stick. So we're just going to follow him for a little while. And, uh, you know, keep close. Never know what's going to happen, especially at Prague. It's just one of those tracks that the walls are close, the track is tight, and uh, we all know what happens with that chicane. So again, we're going to come down through here, and I completely miss the apex there. Still going way too fast, and absolutely lose my wing. Jump on the brakes here, and Holden wound up getting collected with the guy. I get past him, we get down here into the final corner, and he is still there on the outside. We, uh, I, I will tell you this, it was a very interesting night of racing with him. We uh, definitely had a blast. Or at least I know I did. We did message after uh, afterward for a little bit. Uh, but there you go, taking that, that bump again. I don't think it worked out quite as well that time, because I do manage to get up alongside. And we're going to go too wide through the love tunnel. Uh, I wouldn't normally do that with people because you never know who's going to try to body slam you into the wall. But you kind of get a feel for people you're racing around after a couple races, but yet here we kind of came together. Uh, cost me a spot. Maybe two. Yeah, two. Uh, but that's okay. Yeah. It's supposed to be fun. Can't take it too serious. Uh, this isn't, you know, the FRC, and, well, let me see what happened there. So, uh, yeah, we just kind of, I don't know why he wasn't ghosted, uh, really. 
uh, again. I ghosted out almost immediately after colliding with him. Why he wasn't uh, is beyond me when he wasn't facing the right way, but uh, that's a problem for another day. So we're just going to keep going here and uh, see if we can make any places back. And, well, no, not really. The, um, as you can see, someone else tried to run that bump and it tried to, I guess, use me to help turn. That works wonderful, doesn't it? So we're just going to go around, try to finish up this race without too much more pass over. You know, we're down. We're, we're, well, we're last. I mean, there's not much more to say about that. We're, we're, we're last. And we're going to try to get through here without clunking a wall. I, go, I just go easy. There's no sense in pushing at this point. Laps dirty. Last place. Nobody nearby. Just, uh, just going fast enough just to make sure I finish. If I finish. Let me finish. All right, there we go. So we're gonna move on to our last two races here. And the first race is at Suzuka full alternate. And this brought up an interesting point of something that I noticed as I go into the back of him that power versus a handling car especially on a track like this I'm driving a Corvette it's a fairly well-rounded tune uh, it's got a little speed in it uh, it doesn't have the acceleration of a lot of these cars like the uh, guy here in front of me and he's going to exploit that fact here religiously as we go around this track I do have better handling than him I will catch him around every corner into every braking zone however we get to any straight and he will pull I mean, you can see right here he just starts pulling and that's a point if you're gonna build a car it's probably not a bad idea to maybe sacrifice a little bit of handling, especially on a track like this. Now, if you're racing at, you know, Prague or or something like that, no, you're going to want the handling. But definitely here, yeah, it's, it's uh, more of a power track for sure. Because uh, I will close up here a little bit, coming through Spoon. And we will come out of here, and he will just pull, and you can watch the footage marker, and he just goes. And honestly, we won't see him until the final chicane. So, an interesting thing is the guy behind me has a car with much better handling than me. But I have better acceleration than him. So it was kind of interesting how this all stacked up. Because I'm trying to get past him. And we'll let him go. But I'm trying to get past him with a handling car that he can outrun. And the guy behind me is trying to get around me with a handling car that can be outrun. So we ran... Pretty much nose to tail there you can see his indicator he's close and i'm close on the guy on me and we ran like this pretty much all race the entire race multiple laps i do barely get by here for a moment but it's going to be short-lived we're going to get through here we might get through the chicane i don't even know if we get through the alternate chicane here without him uh coming back past me We'll see here in a minute. But, yeah, again, I like the A-Class racing. And uh, it's uh, you know, not ridiculously, you know, overpowered. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. 
So, but again, I also like the D class. And, uh, you know, one of these days, one of the upcoming videos, I'll do a D class video of uh, racing one night. Um, spoiler alert, the Cosmo will be in it. And uh, maybe a paint job or two. And uh, maybe somebody's tune, actually, instead of something that uh, I threw together. And uh, we'll talk about that and uh, some of the tuners that are out there, some of the racers that I know and uh, what they do as far as their tuning and uh, how they go about that, more or less. There's, there's tuning calculators out there to be had and that help you figure out what you want to build and how to build it. So, uh, I did not use it on this car, and it probably shows a little bit. Uh, it's a little understeery. It wants to push a little bit in the corners, but that's okay. Um, again, guy in front of me, he was pulling on us the whole front straight. We get down to the first set of corners, and we are right back on him. I just could not find a clean way to go about passing him without moving him and I didn't want to have to move him I didn't think I had the speed to try to get him on the outside and uh, honestly he was gonna outrun me on the streets anyway so hanging back here it didn't kill me I didn't mind it uh, as long as I wasn't getting passed by somebody behind me we were both still quick enough uh, to outrun the guy that was behind me who had even better handling than I did. Um, up until a point, we uh, we had a little coming together at the end of this race. Uh, I completely botched a chicane and uh, got a bump, but it was all fair, all good. I didn't mind. I uh, wasn't exactly uh, going to be going in the right direction anyway. But the next race ca that came up was Suzuka full regular course and we're starting a little further down in this race and well we got people up high up high up high up and in front we got this mustang here we got people spinning out behind us we're just going to get on the brakes here a little bit wind it down here follow these guys through and eventually we're going to you know settle into a spot uh, that we're going to be able to run pretty much the whole race. Uh, this race was also supposed to be uh, in the rain, so wet weather forecasted, which uh, I figured might help a little bit. So we have somebody right up behind us, as that I believe was Subaru went off. We're going to come down through here, and lo and behold, look who it is. It's our friend from the last race in that Charger. And again, we're going to wind up right behind him for, uh, for a little while here. Um, not having this chicane here, not having the alternate layout with the chicane definitely helps. Um, especially with the getting away from the handling cars. So, but not so good when you're trying to chase down the guys with the acceleration. Uh, again, I pull right up on them, going down through Spoon, and we get real close, but uh, he's just going to pull anyway, so I'm not even going to try to pull out on him and make a pass. Again, it's knowing where's your car stronger, uh, being smart about trying to get your passes done, uh, you know, study your opponent as much as you can. And, uh, again, we're going to come down here to the regular chicane. I'm going to close right up on them. And, uh, but now's not the time to try to make a move. If a move's going to be made, it's going to have to be made down in the S's or one of the slower parts of the track where I'm quicker. It's just trying to find where can I either outbreak him or where can I get around him. And, uh... Well, he kind of helps me out right here. He just ran it wide, and so I was able to get down and around him. And, uh... 
that was the last time I think we saw him for the race. Uh, I think he wound up in a battle behind us with someone, but uh, it went pretty well. We just ran it and ran it, and uh, eventually we, we wound up with a, a third place win. But I thank everybody again for tuning in, watching, like, subscribe, tell your friends. And if there's something in particular you want to see, let me know, guys, and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.